What is going on guys? This is Daniel. And in the early 2000s, the Sacramento Kings were a great team. And in 2002, they battled the Lakers in the Western Conference Finals before ultimately losing the series in 7. Today, I'll be taking a look at Game 4 of that series to analyze the Kings offense, which was prolific. And they really played together as a team. They of course had talent, Chris Webber, Mike Bibby among others, that made their offense so good, but it was the combination of the talent with the way they played as a team that made them so dangerous. Let's get to it. The Kings were blessed with two big men who were skilled and could pass, Chris Webber and Vlade Divac, so what often happened is they both occupied the high post, and here, when the defense plays off Webber, a simple pass to him, and he hits a jumper. The offense was mainly read and react, not too many set plays, and again here, Webber hits the jumper when the defense backs off. Since both Weber and Vlade played at the top of the key, it was easy for Bibby to use them as screens and navigate them as he does here, and he nails a pull up J. This double drag screen is very tough to defend, and here Bibby could hit Weber on top of the pass, or here find Doug Christie in the corner for an open 3. And they know what to do for every situation. So here on the double drag screen, Robert Ori will come out and hedge high, so Vlade immediately knows to slip right to the basket, get it, and deliver a nice pass to Weber. Beautiful. The Kings also ran high post splits. So here watch how they get it to Weber, and all three guards will cut with a purpose around him, making it really a hassle to defend. Weber stays patient, Bibby gets free, cash. Same split with Vlade doing the playmaking, and when no one's open, he's skilled enough to take Shaq right to the post and make a nice shot inside. This time Weber catches it on top but is pressured hard, so he simply drives past the defender and draws a foul. His jumper must be respected, so all it takes is a pump fake here to get Ori out of position, and it's a straight drive for a dunk. The Kings just played basic fundamental basketball. If you're being overplayed, get rid of it and backdoor cut as Bobby Jackson does in these next two clips. And while he doesn't convert either of these instances, most of the time, it's two points. Their offense was just so fluid the way it ran. Here Jackson will try the same thing. And when he doesn't receive the backdoor pass, notice how it's so fluid with Bibby cutting in to allow Jackson to come up on the opposite side get the handoff, and get a decent look. Weber and Vlade would often both play at top, but sometimes they also went high-low, here with Weber facilitating from the top and Vlade sealing inside for the high-low pass, and he scores. But Scott Pollard dazzling our eyes with post moves does not have the same effect. In this game, there was a short sequence where Weber and Vlade were both out of the game. So, you wonder what are they going to do on offense? They're not going to operate with Pollard at the high post. The answer is they went 4 out 1 in and ran spread pick and roll. Here they spread the floor well and Christie gets rid of it and they get an open corner 3. So along with splits and double drag screens they also ran basic pick and roll and here Bibby finds Pollard rolling to the rim. The Lakers decide to trap Bibby in the side pick and roll, so Bibby splits the trap and kicks it out, which results in a Hedo Turkoglu open 3. This time the Lakers do an atrocious job of trying to trap Bibby near half court, so he simply maneuvers the trap and finds Bobby Jackson for the layup. I love this, Bibby comes off the ball screen, Shaq hedges, and he can't split it here, so he simply reverses it to Weber, and because Shaq hedged, he's behind Flade rolling, a simple high-low pass, easy two points. And even on a play like this, where the defense does a great job, Bibby's good enough to hit shots like these consistently. A simple early ball screen, and the Lakers will give up this shot, but Bibby was lights out this game. But the Lakers made it easy at times, simply ducking under the screens, and this is a wide open look. This time Derek Fisher will go under the screen, and that's just a gorgeous pull up jumper. The Lakers defend it well here at first, but how nice is it for Bibby to simply be able to throw it back to a great passer like Weber, miscommunication on defense, and Bibby finds an opening. And it wasn't just Bibby who ran pick and rolls, Turkoglu was also a capable ball handler and passer. 
Turkaloo's skill set of ball handling, passing, and shooting reminds me a lot of Gordon Hayward's skill set, and he was a great secondary ball handler on this team. They all could pass, including Doug Christie, who gets in on the pick and roll action here, finding Devots on a nice pass. And a lot of what offense you run or what actions you run depend on your personnel, of course, and the Kings had good post players, especially Weber, so of course they would get it to him in the post, and here he hits a nice baby hook. No double team, so everyone simply clears out, and Weber goes to work. And Vlade is skilled too, so here he finds himself matched up against Ori, so he takes advantage and scores easily. Vlade spent a lot of time near the top of the key, but here notice how when the ball goes to Weber in the post, he'll dive down to the opposite block. This puts him in great rebounding position, and when Weber gets doubled this time, notice how he's in good position for a pass, and he finishes inside. But it only worked because Weber and Vlade were excellent passers, so when they got doubled, they could easily set up teammates for open shots. This is basketball. Weber passes out of the double team, and while the defense is scrambling, they get it back to him, and he hits a jump hook. The Kings were also difficult to defend because of their off-ball screening. So here, things get a bit stagnant, but on the weak side, there's Vlade setting a flare screen for Bibby, who gets a good look because of it. Another flare screen, and this looked like it may have been a set play, and when Vlade sets the screen, he sees an opening, so he slips it to the basket and draws a foul. The Kings were smart, and they didn't have their guards isolate or go one-on-one -on -one too much from on top, because when they did, it usually didn't end too well. But most of all, I want to emphasize just how unselfish they played. Here Doug Christie will give up a good shot to make the extra pass and get a great shot for one of his teammates. The Lakers decide to press, and Bibby doesn't attempt to break it all by himself. They simply make a few passes, and the Kings break it like a middle school press. The Lakers overplay Bibby, so he drives, and then the ball flies around like a hot potato. If a drive and kick happened, it's over because of the passing, unselfishness, and shooting this team had. Everyone could pass, and everyone could pass well, including Christie, who was their worst starter. Well, there you have it guys. Give the front office a lot of credit for putting together this team with such great passers, which allowed them to play this style, which was not only successful, but fun to watch. Well, thanks for watching and see you next time.